Kukor naga shlem jo undong san hima. Ka Woodland Hospital hnik sngi kelarghi ya ka World Hearing Day. Habakran berkilat petai kebor ke Dr. Hanifa Akhtar ka badai ka ENT Consultant jong ka Woodland Hospital. Kala batai habai dei bat ki kam ki ba ka hospital kala penlong ha kini ki sungi ki bala dep ka doktor Hanifa kala ya thuru ba nakaleng jong ka hospital kala penlong ya ke jingai jing hi kai habun ki benta kala penlong ru ya ke jingai jing sumar ei na ka benta ki pat ba jong ka sinong maulai ha kini ki sungi ki bala dep kam tam ki tu ki bom la ban kren bat ki bom yo sngo bat lang ba ka ni nakaleng jong hospital kala ai jing rap ya ki tu ki briu ki bala sakta Dah kencing bom yos ngau, bat kencing bom nang keren. Nak kali yang ke doktor Hanifa Akhtar, kalau itu ru, bakal Woodland Hospital, kadai ke hospital kabar harga jela, bahkan yo ya ke skim, jong ke sorkar kami ke edip e d i p. Leng bahkan ni ke skim, ke sorkar pedeng kan bayi pisa nak ke bentar ke jenglut jengsep, jong kita ke bapa sumar, kam tam kita ke bom light keren, bat ke bom yos ngau. Kashing, marketing officer Woodland Hospital. Today, our hospital ENT department is observing a World Hearing Day to raise awareness on importance of healthy ears, good hearing in our day-to-day -day lives. In our ENT department, we have Dr. Hanifa and Mrs. Wan Shimpli. We are observing today a World Hearing Day in our Woodland ENT Clinic and Speech and Hearing Center. Several activities were done today. Observing the World Hearing Day, and uh, this is by World Health Organization. And it is celebrated as per WHO, it is celebrated every year on 3rd of March. This year and every year, the WHO it decides a theme. So this year the theme is, as you can see, the hearing care for all. So the aim is to screen, <coughs> rehabilitate, and communicate. So these are the three themes, and at which the main aim of this theme is to raise awareness among the people how to prevent hearing loss and second thing is to let them know about to uh, give them the importance to promote the care of the ear and the hearing okay so as you can see here uh, this logo is is uh, of the uh, who world health organization for the world hearing day 2021 every year the theme is different so as you can see here the hearing care for all um, for all means, the hearing is related to speech and it is important for people of all ages across the globe. So as a part of uh, observing this day, we have done activities like as you can see here, uh, to create the awareness, we made these pamphlets. So in the pamphlets, these were distributed to the common people who are attending the hospital and our clinic for the period of last seven days. So what is what we are uh, going to um, do by doing this is so that they let, so that they are aware, like what is the hearing loss, what is the common causes of hearing loss, how the hearing loss will have, uh, they will know in a child, what are the uh, symptoms in an adult, and how to prevent. And second thing is. Through these pamphlets, we also want to share on this World Hearing Day, like we want to share with the, all the people of Meghalaya and uh, with you all, that our hospital is impaneled for the uh, free cochlear implant surgery under the EDIP scheme. Uh, hello everyone. Uh, this EDIP scheme is uh, provided by the government of India under the Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Okay. The main, uh, the main motive of this uh, scheme no, is to provide assistance to disabled persons for purchase of aids and appliances. Okay? As our hospital is in panel for cochlear implant, those children having hearing loss can undergo cochlear implant under this scheme. Okay? This scheme covers the cost of the cochlear implant, which generally costs 67 lakhs per implant. Okay? Second, it will, co uh, it will cover the surgery cost and the traveling cost. That is 200 per visits per one year. But there are criteria that needs to be fulfilled. First, the, ch the child having hearing loss should have a mild, uh, should have a uh, severe to profound degree hearing loss in both years. They should have a disability certificate. They should be an Indian citizen and uh, their parents income. Yes, their parents' monthly income should be less than twenty thousand for um, uh, twenty thousand, 
and there are two categories okay first those children having hearing loss since birth the age criteria for, for them is still is up to five years of age and for those who acquired hearing loss okay after their speech and language is developed the age criteria is up to 12 years of age and that's all but actually uh, people are uh, here i have seen that uh, awareness then the uh, the, there is some inhibition on their part. They are, uh, the people from village, they are too much afraid. But we are trying to make them understand that if the child gets operated at a proper age, then only the child will be able to speak. So because, because hearing is related to speech. So until and unless the child is not hearing, we cannot expect the child to acquire a normal language in the speech. So the sooner the better. So, um, that's why we have conducted uh, health camps also, so that we, uh, in one we conducted in uh, Upper Shillong, no? yes. in our clinic, Woodland Clinic, and second we conducted in Maulai. So, but I have seen there is some inhibition actually. So, 51 patients. Yeah, 51 patients. 51 patients, yeah. During our last camp in the month of December, we did one camp. So uh, we examined 51 number of patients. And today, as a part of activity, uh, since uh, one motto is hearing care for all. So how to care? The care is by uh, preventing the hearing loss. So preventing means to prevent the loud noise and all. So what we have done today, so this we have uh, kept in motto the prevention part. So uh, we have done the hearing screening today for the respected members of the police department, traffic police, because they are regularly exposed to sounds. So today we have uh, seen around 31, uh, 31 um, uh, policemen, and out of them, there was doctor, doctor, no? Oh, yeah. So, so out of 31, uh, 17 were identified to be having the hearing problems. And the typically not all were related to noise induced. Out of this, we find found out that five were related to noise induced hearing loss. So, uh, so by this doing this, since they are exposed to day-to-day -day, uh, noise, uh, ex excessive exposure of noise, we can say. So, what we are trying to convince them is to reduce the exposure of noise, mobile phones, especially in their profession. So, and the third activity which we did is like. Uh, are from RT Enterprise, Ma Madam RT. She, yeah, RT Enterprise. She sponsored hearing aids. Actually, she is busy in some meeting. Otherwise, she would have come uh, by herself. And uh, three hearing aids were sponsored. And actually, we wanted to give three hearing aids to three patients. But out of this, only one patient came to a to a sick. So Edip is assistant to disabled person for purchase of hearing aid. So Edip scheme is a scheme by the government of India, by Department of Disability Affairs under Ministry of Social Justice and Empowerment. Okay. So the disability it is not only the hearing disability. So since I am an ENT doctor, so I am concerned about the hearing disability. So under the Edip scheme, there are two uh, two aids which are given by the government. One is the hearing aid, and second is the cochlear implant. So our hospital is impaneled for the cochlear implant. So that is like fitted surgically. But hearing aid is like, uh, which is an uh, hearing, uh, it's an aid to augment the uh, hearing, uh, whatever hearing this patient is having, na, to augment the hearing. So hearing aid is different from the cochlear implant. So today, uh, she, uh, this patient, na, ma madam, Madam Rebecca, she uh, she got one hearing aid sponsored by Madam uh, Arty Enterprise. Arty Enterprise, okay. The major cause, first of all, is the uh, age related. Okay, one one is age related is uh, like and those people who are having diabetes and all, they are more prone to develop the hearing loss. Then second is noise induced hearing loss. Then some infections, ear infections can also cause hearing loss and sometimes trauma, then use of some medicines also can cause hearing loss. And these are the, and the, this is, these are the acquired causes. Mm -hmm. And the second uh, is 
the second group is totally different that is the congenital that is like since birth so like the genetic causes and all and if the mother was having some issues during the time of carrying baby then it can pass on to the child so by cochlear implant we can benefit the people uh, sorry the child with the congenital hearing loss for some uh, uh, this one level na sound level and volume and uh, if, if it is for a longer duration of time studies are there scientific studies papers are there which is showing that it has an effect on the hearing it affects hearing and noise induced hearing loss there is no treatment the the thing is only prevention for noise induced hearing loss medication is not going to help it is only by prevention so that is why in all the industries and standard by rule um, they get a hearing check up done then regularly and not say every yearly regularly they have to do and they should in those areas where people are chronically exposed to noise by the the different policy makers na they should be provided with the protective uh, devices Uh, since we are just in the baby stage starting starting <laughs> stage, stage no? so <coughs> we got two patients but uh, we are not like uh, they're still like in the phase of convincing parents are not can because it's a big decision for them no so still now what is the age uh, one age is 2 and a half years no 2 and a half years and 3 years of age <coughs> two babies and to add up to that <coughs> for a child to undergo co cochlear implant also first thing they need to be fitted first with a hearing aid okay yeah. for first 3 months they have to be fitted with a hearing aid and then based on that we'll have to see how much is the child benefiting okay some, some just like i said severe uh, severe to profound hearing loss okay but some child benefit from hearing aid also but there are some children who doesn't benefit from hearing aid for for those who doesn't benefit from hearing aid then we have to they have to undergo cochlear implant but for those who can benefit from hearing aid they, we can see that their speech Maybe and watch. language can develop then they don't have to so they, they, this is also the criteria uh, there are three companies <coughs> na so different uh, but what what company implant that is provided by the uh, government itself and, uh, as you can see that this program is in collaboration with the uh, AYJ and is NISHD so the epic scheme here yeah, is by this organization so uh, uh, institute and uh, the thing is uh, the cochlear implant it comes from that institute under the scheme we we don't have any like uh, choice and whatever implants they are good implants kadang dia pentek tak mau lain pun akan dan kena dia mesti mesti mau lain mesti kontak balik aku ปนังมาเลยเพียงตัวได้ใจตัวเวลาเพียงจะไปทําเพียงตัวเพราะว่าเพียงตัวอุดรันนั่งทางเพียงนั่นเองจะใช้ตัวนั่งทางเพียงเ